Okay, so what we want to do is work out what's the moment of inertia of a rod like this one about one of its ends, so about this end. So this rod has some length L and it's got some mass, let's call it capital M, that's the total mass, and we're going to assume that this mass is evenly distributed along the length. To calculate the moment of inertia, we'll need to use the formula the moment of inertia is equal to the integral of r squared dm. Now our difficulty with this formula at the moment is that we've got two variables. We've got r and we've got m. So what we need to do now is put m in terms of r. So let's consider a little slice of this rod, a distance r from one end, and we'll take this slice here, and it's got some width dr, so that's a narrow width. Now to get dm, that just means what is the mass of this little slice here? So the mass is equal to the linear density, which is the total mass over the length, times this width, length dr. So that tells us how heavy a little slice is. So now what this is telling us to do is add all these little slices from this end to this end. So we can do that. We're going to add them from r is equal to 0 at this end to r is equal to capital L at the other end. We're adding r squared and dm is equal to m over l dr. Now m over l, that's just a constant so we can move it out the front. So then we're doing the integral of r squared dr. If we integrate r squared dr, we end up with r cubed on 3 and we've got the limits from 0 to L. So now we just need to substitute in those limits and we've got M on L times L cubed on 3. And then when we substitute in the 0, well that's just 0. So now we can simplify this a little bit because we've got an L on the bottom and L cubed on the top. So this gives us ML squared on 3. And like we said before, we call this one third ML squared. So you can see we've managed to derive that equation now.